Now, there's a reason why your camera's white balance isn't always perfect, but fortunately, there's a really easy solution. Modern cameras are getting pretty good at evaluating the light in the scene, but they just can't differentiate what's your key light, what's your fill light, what are background lights, what's incidental light. They're looking at the overall scene and are trying to judge a single Kelvin temperature that they think is gonna best represent the frame. Now take a look at this scene. If I'm shooting Steph from here, we're gonna have these warm lights in the background pointing straight at my camera, which typically throws off the white balance. Taking a test shot here, you can see the auto white balance that the camera has selected makes Steph look kind of blue. That's because it's seeing those brown lights in the background, thinking that's too warm, cooling down the overall color temperature, which makes them look neutral, and it makes Steph look too cool. Ideally, what I want the camera to meter is the light that's specifically hitting Steph's face and being reflected into my camera. And in this case, that's unrelated to anything it's seeing in the frame because we have a light over in this direction, a big window and a soft box that's lighting Steph, but it's not in my frame. So the camera can't see it. So it's kind of impossible for it to correctly meter it. And that's where the light color meter from data color comes in. This guy's able to meter exactly what the light color is at any point in your scene. So if I put it right here beside Steph, take a quick reading here. It's saying that the lighting on Steph right now is 6,110 Kelvin. Whereas if I turn it around and measure the background, which is mostly those lights, that's actually 2,680 Kelvin. So a huge difference. So now let's set a manual white balance on my camera of 6,110, matching the light that's actually hitting Steph. And boom, Steph's skin tones look good, the background looks good, the background lights are still nice and warm, we have the overall ambience in the shot, and it's down to 10 degree increments in Kelvin. So personally, I shoot a lot of things where color is really important, like portraits, and I find myself using this a lot more than I thought I would. Having it just away from the subject, I can get real-time updates of the perfect white balance to use. So right now, where it is now, 6,080. Pointing it in this direction, 4,600. In this direction, 3540. Those kind of differences really make a huge difference on your final file and I'm sure I'm not the only photographer who's taken shots only to find the white balance was off when you were shooting and you just can't get it quite right afterwards. The files never look quite right. Here you can absolutely nail it in the shot either by dialing it in as a custom white balance or just taking note of what the color was as you're shooting so that in post you're able to adjust to that point. If you want to check out one of the light color meters for yourself, I'll have full details below.